Today I'm unboxing and assembling the Ascarva CNC router machine from Acmere. Let's check it out, see what's in the box and we'll get it assembled. Never used CNC before, so I know there's gonna be a learning curve with some software. Um, so that's probably gonna be another video that comes out a little bit later whenever I actually get this thing up and running. We'll see, we'll see how far I get along with this. Let's see what's in the box though. All right. Instructions. I'm just gonna start laying things out. I don't exactly know what all these parts are, um, but I'm assuming these are some sort of rails that the machine will ride and sit on. That's pretty. My control panel. Bag full of tools. Looks like there's some bits in there. Maybe a collet. This thing is really well packed. There's power. It's one of the side guide rails. <laughs> Must be some test material. This thing is packed so good, I can't get it out. There we go. Okay. This thing's heavy. It's built heavy. I like it. I think it's gonna do well. Get a chair, that would be helpful. And my coffee. There we go, focus juice. So I got it put together and I got it put in its new home here in my little Acmere corner in my shop. I've got my Escarva 4S CNC here and my Acmere S2 seven watt diode laser on the other side of my computer. Um, so I've got a little Acmere corner. I was able to get things going and do a few test cuts and learn a little bit about CNC and how it works. Um, so I'll show you that real quick. This was my first one. I used their test file and used the UGS software to send this to my laser. This is their logo and that's one of their test blanks here. The next thing I tried was their relief cut. It was a koi fish and I didn't get all the way through the cut because I had to stop the machine because I was leaving and I didn't want to leave the machine running while I was gone. Anyway, this is how that ended up. It stopped here, but you can see the detail that we were getting before I stopped. That's with the bits that came with it. It comes with these little V bits. And these are tiny, tiny, tiny little V bits. They're, you know, they're eighth inch V bits. And it comes with a whole little box of them. There's 10 of them here that it comes with. But then I decided I wanted to change some things up for the applications that I do or I'm planning on doing, which is going to be doing inlays in things like cutting boards and larger projects. So I got a piece of walnut here. I changed out the collet and put a two fluted upcut bit in that has a flat bottom and let it go to town on here. And this is what I came up with. I used the easel software to make this. Overall, I'm really happy with the results on this and I plan on upgrading the spindle. This is their 70 watt spindle that comes with the machine. Plan on upgrading it to the 500 watt spindle so I can get some more power and increase my feed rate a little bit and learn some more, but also more power is gonna allow me to chew through this a little bit faster. Setup was really easy. You just simply follow the directions just like you would some Lego directions. It's like this piece goes here, this piece goes there. Super, super 
simple to set up. I'm excited to get to use this and you'll see it on some of my projects here on my woodworking channel. Yeah, so that's my first foray into the CNC world with the Acmere Ascarva 4S.